I wanted to do a show really that was about colour and light and how that can affect the same object but it can look totally different. I tend to make sets of certain particular paintings that have very strong narratives running through them. I think the narrative became about nature itself. Things die, things grow, things get reborn again. One of the first things I looked at was a great documentary called My Best Fiend by Werner Herzog. And Herzog describes the jungle being full of obscenity and what did he say? If God, if he exists, he's created it in anger. It's not a nice place to be. You know, it's a beautiful monologue about the jungle. Each palette is specific to a certain time of day and it's the same composition. So it's got that kind of, you could say apocalyptic, but it could also be early Earth. We all think the apocalypse is the end, it's the apocalypse not the beginning. This is actually the midday one, so it's right when the sun's obviously at its hottest. We've got quite a lot more to put in. You can see I've left areas which will then be covered with plants. It's constantly moving finding its way down, a bit like snakes and ladders. They're sort of like anxiety paintings. You know, you're constantly sort of battling with it in a way because it's not paint. You have to pull it a little bit. You have to kink it a little bit. Sometimes you punch it. They're like layers of anxious moments all kind of built up onto one layer. When I started to make the paintings, I started to think of pottery and shamanism. My older brother Richard went away and made a ceramic and we realised that there was this lovely language between the pot and the painting. I really love seeing people's reaction to something. Someone's experienced something for the first time, in a way. That's a good thing to put in the world, I guess.